Who's your favorite ninja, like ever? Wrong, it's me. <laughs> me, <laughs> me. Cause I'm a modern Homemade shuriken. All right, so we're making shuriken, right? Sure, you can pronounce it that way if you want. <laughs> they called shuriken ninja stars, throwing stars, Chinese stars, what is it? They're certainly not Chinese stars. Kind of racist. <laughs> They're Japanese in origin. Okay, all right. They're called shuriken, but that covers a broad variety of things. We're gonna make hika shuriken, I think, or okay. shuriken. A shuriken, as I understand it, is any small bladed object that you have in your hand, right? And oftentimes it would be like maybe like four nails and a cross, basically, that you could uh, you could jab someone with or or make caltrops out of. Yeah, they didn't get these at a kiosk in the mall. Oh man, but that, we did when we were kids. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could have been anything. They would make them out of coins or or nails fused together. They couldn't buy them at the mall or at a machinist or anything like that. These things were disposable weapons that weren't meant to kill. Well, and that's the thing I didn't, never understood, is movies go out of their way to act like they're deadly weapons and you have to hit the eyes always yeah. from a distance. Because the blades are usually like this and throwing a blade that small that will pierce someone's skull or into their heart, uh, Pretty tough. Probably not gonna happen, yeah. So yeah. this is a weapon of harassment, a way during kind of guerrilla warfare for you to dis distract attention. And the, the story that I heard is that when it went by and sliced you, because there was no person there, it was as though an invisible swordsman. And whoosh, that's the translation for shuriken, is sword that is hidden in the hand. Right on. All right, how do we make one? Okay, it's so easy. And I know, yes, that I always say that, but it really is. <laughs> it rarely has turned out to be easy. I know. Every time you say it. These are uh, grip right fasteners. I think you use them in roofing. You hammer a thing through and then this uh, locks out all the rain and stuff on oh, there. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, you can get these at your local hardware store. Just little silver discs and they're really flimsy. So these stars are gonna be flimsy. They're not gonna be deadly, but they That's are- okay because I too am flimsy and not deadly. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. shape are we doing? So you're just gonna take your disc here. Don't cut all the way into the center. Do you want me to start cutting? I, I did, give me another one. <laughs> Damn it, Brian. <laughs> so you're gonna cut it at four different places and you're not going to cut into the center. You still need to leave a center mass, right? Okay. So just do four cuts at 90 degree angles. Oh, got it, your perpendicular cuts. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? There's this natural grain on there too that, you, that makes it easy to follow. Now, on these four wedges, yep. cut another wedge into each of those, right uh, in the middle. Just bisect it, basically? Yeah. Okay, where'd you find this? This was an instructable, actually. And again, these aren't gonna be effective weapons. Well, first of all, the shuriken itself is not an effective weapon, right? right? Super disposable and lo-fi, just like these. As a matter of fact, katanas you can find nowadays because they're well-preserved, because they were valued and handed down through generations. Because shuriken are disposable weapons of harassment, the ones you find, they're all rusted and banged up and no good. Really? Yeah. We're gonna make one of those uh, one of those things that uh, you put candles over and it spins oh, around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like hey, Sorry. you know that thing about throwing stars? We're yeah, not doing that at all. That. <laughs> all right, what am I doing? You're just taking every other tab and folding it in. All right. Dude, just like that and it's done? You can go with that or cut little points into them. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a curved blade. Oh, good call. So these aren't even like fancy scissors. We're just using garbage, yeah, regular just paper scissors. Regular one, yeah, because these things are so flimsy. And those points, you can actually get them pretty sharp, right? You know what, my curved thing is not working as well as I hope. It's a little difficult. Like that, look at that. Look at how tight, it's, how sharp that is. There's just, there's no heft. So maybe our next build should be like two stacked on top. Or, or maybe or? put a coin in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, this feels to me like it wants to be closest to card throwing. Cause there's a whole technique to card throwing that I think would apply to a paper thin okay. shuriken. I'm gonna say, I actually think. I use the hammer. Just want to be. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you. Um, I was gonna I say, often narrate my own actions. Uh, yeah, use the hammer. Use the hammer to flatten down the other tabs as you fold them in. Is that oh, right? that's cool. Is that, is that right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so when you're throwing a playing card, you want to keep it kind of loosely gripped between your first two fingers. Mm -hmm. And you're not you're not actually throwing it and trying to time it. That's the mistake everybody makes. Instead, you're going to hold it loose enough that the very act of your motion will cause the momentum to fling it forward, right? Yeah. And then you get, oh, that bounced. It went right in. That's amazing. That's cool. <laughs> All right, let me, let me try again. Here, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, try try, try that one. Here we go, right? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. 
Okay, that's actually pretty fun. I mean, these things are super light and flimsy, but yeah. And I guess this one has kind of a swirl pattern to it. So you picture this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, it does get bent up pretty fast. I'm a bad ninja. Oh! Whoa! I'm afraid of hitting you. Oh, uh, sure. It, all right, right? Yeah, blame me. That's good. There we go. I'm calling that that good enough. I poked an eye out. That's good. So these guys are super flimsy. This one has a little more heft. Feel the difference in the material yeah. on this stuff, right? This is just sheet metal cut into the shape of a card because I'm more familiar with throwing cards. Whoops. Oh, that's got the heft. That was a pretty Try, satisfying here. thwack. Try all of them. Try all of them. Okay, I, I'm, I'm probably not even gonna hit the damn thing. Your grip is right there in the middle. You're not gonna be able to get it. Okay. You want to barely bite the edge, and then you're just gonna do this sidearm thing. You're never gonna let go. Imagine you had mm -hmm. goo on your hands, and you're trying to like, get it out of your mucus. That's what you wanna do. Probably twice a day. <laughs> okay, uh, you're throwing it like a frisbee, which ah! you don't wanna do. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you want it, you're flicking off goo. There we go. It was a terrible shot, You're but not, it was a much so better throw. Here, try it with this one. Try it, yeah. try it with the card. Oh! <laughs> right here, right here. Now you're talking. That felt good. So if we were to do a weighted one, would we want to double these up or just put coins in them? How about you just try to throw one as is? Oh, geez. <laughs> Dude, these are dope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's pretty cool. I didn't as expect is. that. I, just as is. Oh, oh man. Dude, this is better. If you just want target practice, no. Nice. Wow. 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 Oh, that's satisfying. Why are we bothering to even make them shirk? Oh, no. These are amazing. These are called uh, grip right fasteners. And plus, like, feel the weight of them in your hand. Put on the goggles. Hold, just hold, just hold it. Let me go to town. Well, let me get out of the way. How no, about I, that? I, 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 no? No, I mean, you hold it. Physically oh. hold it. Be in the way. Jesus Christ, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> in your hand, it feels like a slinky. That's about the thickness of the metal here. And it's like, I, it's, I feel like I'm holding a circular deck of cards. I feel like I was meant for this moment. Yeah, and me too. I, I don't think any of these will cut you, but I think they're gonna feel really good to throw at you. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Oh. Oh. Thanks for waiting. Oh. 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 oh my god, I'm gambit! <laughs> I was meant for this! Oh, god, oh shit! <laughs> oh damn it! Wow! <laughs> Did that hurt? <laughs> Sorry! Oh, this is a million times superior to even bothering to make them sharp on the edges. That is amazing. We're good. All right. I have a challenge for you that doesn't involve throwing stuff at me. You wanna see if you can hit some moving targets? Ooh, yeah, why not? So what do you think's gonna happen on balloons? I think these could still pop them. Yeah, right? I think so too. But these, these definitely, definitely will. will. Yeah. Right. By the way, inflate the balloons nice and big if you want them easy to pop. That's a trick that the old carnies would use, is they would underinflate the balloons. Oh, yeah? And so when you throw a dart, they would just bounce off of them. Really? So here's the challenge. I am much more confident and precise with the circular ones, okay. right? But these are definitely gonna be able to pop the balloon. Yeah. So it'll be a contest between my aim and the pokiness uh. to see if I can get it. Which one do you wanna do first? Let's do the pokiness. Okay, all right, go for it. Oh, <laughs> all right, try it again, try it again. Damn it! Ah. Oh! That was awesome! Yes! That was great! <laughs> I'm really surprised, despite getting banged up a lot, they're still effective. I'm using a hammer. I'm using a hammer. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Dude, <laughs> that's really satisfying. <laughs> that's great. You'll try the... Yeah, we'll try the discs. I think, it, I think it'll work. Oh, no. Try another one. Oh my God. <laughs> it missed, but it's embedded in the wall now. <laughs> what 
Whoopsie. Oops. So we're not going to tell the landlord about the, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. No one's watching. All right, here we go. What the heck? <laughs> it made that wicked-ass sound, too! Did not see that coming. I know. Okay, what if we just added the ridges? Yeah, yeah. Like the initial cut, right? It'll give Offset. it some points. Right? So now I got like a whirling pinwheel type thing with just enough pokiness that it'll pop balloons. Yeah! That did the trick. Do you want to try something else? What, what else do you got? That's not a good idea. <laughs> that seems like it set up the target. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, is there actually is a trick to fling playing cards. You just pinch it in a rubber band and then it flies just like that, right? Very cool. So I would imagine the same thing works with this metal card. You think? Yeah. <laughs> not so much. Maybe not. Works, right? Cool. Yeah. And then, uh, and so now I guess we should try that with the stars. But <laughs> we're, all, we're all fine here. <laughs> I will just use the rubber band. Pull it back like that. <laughs> not so much. Not so much. Nope. <laughs> Not feeling it. Is it too it. light? Part of it is that it's difficult to figure out where you should line it up to. I'm going to put it way on the edge this time. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right in the middle. Closer. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh! There it is. That's what you do. I'm pinching it right in the middle like I'm slingshotting a quarter is what I'm thinking of it as. <laughs> All right, I, okay. we'll just call it that one. I mean, we'll try the slingshot, but it just feels like it's gonna be so chaotic and wild. You're not gonna get that precise spin. Especially since we're dealing with things that are so light. I guess we'll try the discs first. A bunch of them at once? Yeah. Now this, I do feel like, has a chance of working. A brick of them all at once, so it's closer to yep. regular shot, and it's the discs. I feel like it's gonna be a ridiculous disaster. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, can you do it with the shuriken? Try it with the pinwheel. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, see if it's possible with just one to hit that balloon. Bladed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Now, that, that was the bladed one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on, let's try the target. <laughs> Boy, that does get a lot of force. I'm surprised it doesn't just bang into your hand. Me too. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get that spin here. Try another. Did that embed itself in there? What happened? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so deep. Feel how deeply embedded in there that is. Wow. <laughs> it's all warped. Okay, let's do it with the Sharpie ones. Okay. You wanna try? You wanna do uh, it? No, I don't try. No. I'm, I'm scared of this. Uh, there's plenty of brute force in this, but there's, there's so little control it makes me nervous. And you're just doing it right in the middle. Yep. <laughs> That was pathetic. Now, I know with the rubber band, it is important that it not be exactly in the center. Jeez, that doesn't look like that's going to work at all. Try it, try it. Holy cow, you <laughs> took out the lights! You took out the lights! Holy freaking cow. Whoa. Look at how deeply embedded this was. I stand 100% corrected. This thing utterly blasted straight in, almost went through the entire target. That was surprisingly effective. Yeah. I like it. And surprisingly sharp. So, shuriken, they don't seem like a toy anymore. Yeah, no, I think we could actually hurt somebody with they one They seem of like those. genuine weapons of harassment. It's almost as though warriors of old actually had a good reason for using them. Now, there are a billion different variations on how to make these. I've seen people use X-Acto knives, thread cutters, Disassembling those Razor and blades, them. there's a good tutorial. Razor blades, all sorts of stuff. Now these are just like 
roofing discs. I'll tell you what, the roofing discs by themselves, if you know how to throw cards, they're astonishingly precise. It's really the best way to go. But I would imagine that with a little bit of practice, you can get the same way. You'll want to make all of your stars exactly the same so that you, you get, a, get a rhythm to, to know how to throw it just right. Yeah, and you also have the actual bladed ones here, which take all of 45 seconds to make. Then we have the halfway in between the, the pinwheel thing. This is the one I'd like to see people experimenting with because that pokiness is gonna definitely injure and considering that the whole purpose is to harass people, it just seems like that's got the precision on there. Then there's the sheet metal card. Sheet metal card might to me be the most dangerous of all of them. It's got a little more heft and got insane penetrating power. But I will vouch for all of these were much more dangerous than I originally thought. None of this is a good idea to muck around with. Don't do this at home. In fact, our whole show, let, let us do it. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time for the next part of the game, the most dangerous game. Run. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no! No!